Greetings, my fellow knights. Welcome back to the Struggle Bus, where today we're trying out some Kaya Spirits Justice. So we're mainly using her uh, loyalty abilities, but we are going to try to capitalize on her static ability as well, where if we exile a creature card we own, then we are able to make a token creature of ours, a copy of that this turn for the until the end of the turn, except it has flying. So um, it's something that's going to come up and woke up into that when I get in the cards. And then plus two, we get to surveil that allows us to dig deeper in our deck as well as exiling cards from our graveyard, which will trigger her passive or just it is a graveyard. So we can do some sweet graveyard hate on our opponents, which, as you know, with virtue running around is quite popular. We get to make a 1-1 one, one flying spirit to protect her as another plus and her minus exile a creature we control it doesn't have to be a token, but it can be. For each other player, exile up to one target creature that player controls. So we exile one of our tokens to then exile one of our opponents. Now, of note, we do get to pick that creature. It's not an edict effect, which is quite powerful. So I like her. We're going to give her a shot today and see how she does. The rest of the deck, we're running removal at the low cost side. We're running two destroy evils for enchantments and big creatures to get lost to catch all or go for the throats and then one virtue of persistence because we are going to have some creatures that we wouldn't mind getting back four wedding announcements to generate tokens and make our flying spirits a little bit stronger preacher of the schism for card draw life gain defense and pretty sweet uh, you'll also notice the majority of our cards that we are playing the exile should we exile those creatures are going to generate us card advantage or some source of card advantage while they attack so we can capitalize on kaya's static ability so Schism will trigger either giving us a vampire or drawing us a card or both. We're running four Mondrax because we want to see if just straight generating a ton of tokens is extremely powerful. So why not? And it's a solid card. We can make a 4-4 flyer. And then if it stays, it is until the end of the battlefield. So if it sees a wedding announcement or another Planeswalker trigger tokens, then we'll still get that doubling effect even after Mondrax died. To the end, to exile pesky Kievs in our opponent's list. Three Sunfalls, because since the majority of our um, token development is from Planeswalkers and Enchantments, then we don't mind necessarily having a Board Wiper 2 to catch up in case we fall behind. Two Deepest Betrayals, because I think this card is quite powerful. Again, uh, if it dies, it becomes a land, but if they manage to exile it, then we can also use it to force our opponent to discard and we draw or get a bat, so that's great, and Lifelink is fantastic. And finally, three Ashiox because they kind of synergize, right? Ashiox tokens get bigger when you exile a card. And so both Kaya and Ashiok can allow us to exile. So we can see here with Ashiok, minus it to make four tokens thanks to having Mondrak in play. And then we can plus Ashiok to be able to still trigger that exile bonus effect. And of course, also we can exile things to make those tokens bigger. So there's a little bit of synergy here. And you guys are going to join me for the first couple of games of this and see how you feel about it. We're going to continue to brew with Kaya because I like her and I think she has some access. So we're going to try some different things. Next one's going to be a reanimator style where the surveil is a little more potent than the exile, but we'll give it a go. Shout out for this video goes out to a very special Nathaniel. Thank you for joining the Patreon and supporting us on the struggle bus. I really do appreciate you, Nathaniel. You rock. And this first list for Murders at Karlov Manor is for you, my friend. Okay, a little painful, but not the worst. We are going to keep this. I think we can roll pretty well with this, to be honest with you. Lead off with the Preacher based on what they play. Ooh. Okay, then. Probably wedding announcement then, because Preacher would die. Hold off on the Destroy Evil for either Virtue or uh, Shieldred. All right, well now, I mean, I think they're still going to kill Preacher. I guess we have two Mondraks to capitalize on Wedding Announcement. But if we draw land, we're just going to play Mondrak anyways. So let's go here. I don't know if that's right or not. Ah, so they have cut down. Okay, good to know. Not that Preacher dies to cut down, but still good to know. This also gives us protection from them playing a Liliana. That a lot of these decks are doing because they obviously have virtue to get things back. Uh, we will take the one here. Ooh, okay, I stand corrected. And we did see excellent. 
So we will Mondrak here, because Mondrak can block this. Got you. So they can... Okay, cool. So then they can sack this to go grab... Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Which we're fine, because we're just going to go for the throat. Right? We have another Mondrak, so we're not necessarily too worried if they kill this one. I mean, it'd be unfortunate, but we got a little bit of value off of it. Who knows? We may even triple block here. I don't think that's correct, though. Yeah, there we go. So they're going to play something they're okay with attacking. And then I think still holding the Destroy Evil for a bigger enchantment, right? These Sagas are going to go away. There we go. Bada boom, bada bing. Perfect. Oh, they have the fight. That's what it was. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. You got it. Well played, opponent. You are a champion. You got it. All right, uh, let's destroy evil first. Make sure, okay, cool, they didn't have the saving. I wanted to keep this in case they had this, the uh, save. Always a great little combo. The old obliterator fight. Yep, they got it. They got it. At this point, we're kind of on the back foot, right? Could also be another fight spell. Would be sweet, though, if we hit our... Okay. So they have another fight. This creature, if you do, that was only a land. So, oh no, for a creature, basic land. Alrighty, yep. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, and of course we drew her. That's funny. Um, I thought it was. Oh, because we only did two to it. That was my bad. All right. Well, let's see if we can dig ourselves out of this hole. That was my bad. I 100% thought it was four. I don't, or thought it was five, but it's off of the damage it, or we deal to it. So that was my bad. Uh, well then technically we only had to do one, right? That's super awkward. We have 26 lands. There we go. Would have liked for that to be untapped, but that's okay. This is what? Oh, okay. That's an interesting little tutor. I think we want to develop a board. Oh, that's right. It's Menace. This is a very interesting list they have. We can just kill that and keep our guy. Doesn't seem horrible to me. Uh, if you unsolve, solve at the beginning of your end step. So if we kill this guy now, sure. Then they get to find their card right at the end of their next turn. So we have a whole turn to be able to leave up, uh, get lost, or go for the throat. I like that. Get to draw another card. This looks good. Get our land. Let's get in there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Cool. They want to hit us with another fight spell. 
we'll get rid of a dude and the new festival. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have get lost for their thing. I would like to play Kaya and start to get rid of their obliterators. That would be nice. And we definitely will play her and immediately get rid of that and start scrying for more lands. There's the obliterator. Then here's the fight. Now the only problem is, is they have two. If they have two, then we're in trouble, right? Oh no, that's right. That's why I destroyed the other creature. So we're good. We are good. Uh, let's go land. And, oh, they have to sacrifice. So they already had that in hand. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, I guess we, is this instant or sorcery speed? Actually, only as a sorcery. So we can kill that now. But I think it's correct to just hold off. Make a dude. See if they go for the fight. Oh, I guess we shouldn't have waited for them to go for the fight. Because now they can fight in response. Yeah, that was my mistake. We should have just killed it. That was my fault. I'll, I'll take the hit on that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It's absolutely hilarious to me. I'm sorry, this is too good. It is a shame because we could have used that 1-1. One, one. Like 100% could have used it, made it 5-5. Five, five. But that's okay. So they have one more left, right? This is so good. <laughs> I hope you guys are still watching. <laughs> this is freaking epic. That's so weird. Why do they have that? That's what's confusing me. All right. Go here. Play Kaya. And... I think we plus one first so we can get value out of exiling their guys. I, wanted, I didn't play Ashiok there because I wanted to make sure we had Get Lost for the final one. Maybe they're waiting on enough mana. Pay two to pop that. Go search for it. Play it. Yeah, they can do it. Do it. What? Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? That is preposterous. Oh, Intimidation Factor. Uh, yeah, this one looks fine. I think it's good. Sets us up for a nice clean Kaya. We'll take it. Go here. I like that from the opponent. I mean, potentially, it could be domain as well. So we'll see. Could be tokens. Plenty of options. We we'll go ahead and still fire off the old preacher here. Yep, I think we still, I think we still schism here over announcement. Get some value while we can, right? Yes. Oh, okay. So it is going to be... Okay. So we have to hold on to... Uh, well, we have destroy evil. So we have some options here. Let's go ahead and attack. Get our double trigger. And then we will wedding announcement. Ooh, the end's a good one. That was a very good draw. Go here. Can't really play around the board wipe, so we just got to go ahead. We don't have an answer for it, like a counter. So we're just going to go ahead and ride this wave. 
Okay. So we'll take the hit. If they have more than life than us, we make a dude. Oh, alright. Well, then we'll block for life gain here. And then we can go for the throat and draw a card. I think I'm okay with that. Keep the board nice and clear, right? This is interesting. Oof. Really? This is looking pretty good. Can we get a Kaya now? Can we get our namesake card is the question. They get one Atali. They get one Atraxa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is the play, my friend? What is the play here? Herd Migration. Okay, okay. We have sweepers. We have sweepers. It's probably the worst thing they could have played against us, unfortunately. We can make a bunch of blockers if we want. We can attack, kill two of them. We still get to draw a card. Uh, we can talk a new May. I think... We attack with both, we lose one, we draw two. Let them have this. Hmm. I think we attack first. I think we attack first. See if they go with just the double block, right? And we get a land. If they go with the double block, we get to just the double block. Okay, well then, yeah, we just use the other go for the throat here. Kill one, keep our guy alive. And then they get to flip this, but we get two cards out of it. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Looking pretty dece, looking pretty dece. The good thing too is if they hit us with the um if they hit us with the Atraxa, we can wait till they grab another Atraxa from their deck. Oh no, we kind of don't want them to, because this lets them draw. And they leave two guys back to block this guy. Okay. So this is great. We're at the same life total, so we'll get two triggers. No point in using the end here because they're, this it's a flipped card. We could have get lost it so they don't get the guy, but I don't think we care. Eh, it's unfortunate. That was a good draw from them. Oh, that's a good one. We did draw our Kaya. We drew our Kaya. Um, one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three. Unfortunately, that's not enough. So we need to do some blocking. Guess we go here and then just activate Mondra or Takanume. That is unfortunate. So we block three we won't die we can also kill the wedding festivities okay could be worse also block block our turn all right let's talk a new may see what we can hit Hopefully we don't discard one of our Sunfalls. Okay, cool. Didn't discard a Sunfall. Um, yeah, we came here to do Ashok things. Not quite, and that is an enchantment though. So... 
we can exile. Hmm. We needed a stronger creature, unfortunately. Oh, it's one of our tokens. So blow that up, get a four, attack her for two. Doesn't get us much. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then three. Hmm. We get two more guys. Oh, we can minus as well. Actually, I like that. Hexproof is legit. Hexproof is legit. No attacks. Send it back. So we have quite the team here. Oh man, what are out here? So they don't have the Atraxa, or they are slow rolling like champs, right? They're gonna exile our Mondrak, and we have no interaction there, unfortunately. The Beanstalk. We were really hoping our get lost for that. Let's see if they attack. Another herd migration. Well, we're not dying this turn. Oh, I should have just killed that. Oops. I didn't think about that when they played it. I was already in my mind that Destroy Evil is going to take care of Wedding Announcement. Or we could have killed Mondrak. So now I kind of put us in a position. I'm silly. Sorry, too many decisions. Okay, that's fine. We actually legitimately don't care about that. So we destroy the beanstalk. I think we want to try to keep him alive. I think we just take that. Let's destroy evil. The beanstalk. I should have given a card. That's a little irritating. That's fine. Because we're, we're pretty much uh, sun, Sunfall or Bust here. Land's nice. All right. Sunfall. Come on. You're up there. Um, So, Exile Wedding Announcement. I guess we should have Kayed first, actually. We should have Kayed first. Yeah. I play by my own rules. Darn. It's nowhere in there. Do you have any other graveyard? Preacher to attack, but they have a good block, unfortunately. Could we have killed it? Hold on. Is she at two? She is at two. So let's do that. Uh go back to browser. Pick Preacher. Preacher that. It stinks because I would really like to leave up. Alright. Uh, then I guess we the end. Oh, it's so bad. And I don't think we die on the crackback. Yep. Oh, and the sunfall. Wow. All right. All right. This is interesting. I Things are not looking good for the home team, my friends. Things are not looking good for the home team, but, you know. We at least get this done, right? So they attract us. Uh, and we just got to keep our planeswalkers alive here. Beanstalk. We have to destroy evil for that one. They're unfortunately going to draw quite a few cards. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we just block everything. So, uh, 11. So, oh, maybe we just die. I, I, all right. 
two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, we just died. Darn. Yep, didn't hit that sunfall, man. And I, I made a couple of mistakes notably, but it was a little too deep. I wanted to play a little quicker. So, good game. Yeah, unfortunately, we were prepared for everything they had minus the Kaya. So close, yet so far away. Yeah, even killing this guy wouldn't have mattered. So, all right. Well, well played, opponent. Well played. Alrighty. This one looks like a keep to me. I like it. All our lands are tapped, but we'll make do. Start off here. Actually, I guess it works out, right? Because if they have a quicker start than we do, we can just switch to the Sunfall plan. The lands that force us to come into play tapped. You have all the things going on. Love it. Love it. No, take your pick, buddy. Uh, I guess they have to pick... They pick Schism, I think, right? Slow down our hand significantly. Buy him plenty of time. That is unfortunate that our hand doesn't have diversity with them being able to peek at it. I liked this hand a lot better when they didn't quite know what was going on. Oh, is it only one? Oh, I'm thinking of the other guy. Okay. The, um, priest dude. Yep. We'll play it. We will play it because they can't afford to let it sit, All right? Question is, do we play into the, um, what's it called? Emperor, right? Or is this ossification? Angel. Interesting. Interesting. Because they're going to hit that. The spirit flies. Sure. Play Kaya, and we'll make a dude because there's really no way for them to deal with that. Nobody's ready to die. That's why so many stick around after they do. They want burn a removal on our spirit to flip that. I think we're pretty happy about that. We can just kind of ride this wave. I dig that. block and we hit our land which is nice but i think we just mondrak i wonder if actually i wonder if we should have played the untapped land mondrak plus attack and then next turn we can exile creature for each of the player, exile one creature that player controls. So let's see if they got the board wipe or not, right? I mean, we definitely should have, actually. There was no real reason other than like tempo, right? Uh, that's silly. Yeah, we should have. I'll, I'll take the hit there. Like we could have played it and easily taken the four damage to keep Mondrek alive. I guess I'm just playing with everyone running Sunfall, but they could just have one for... Oh, we're so good. We're so good here. Block here. Yeah, we're fine. We are 100% fine. Look at this value. Look at this value, my friends. So, exile target creature we control. Exile the boring one, get rid of Meryl. And then Meryl, uh, let's go here. I'm the best I'm the best in my group. And then let's attack. And then if we play him, we can't leave that. We can go here. Um, I think we just hold. I think we just hold. Hit him with the go for the throw. Be able to sack our dudes to protect Mondrak. Oh, 
also copy our schism, which might be what we do next turn. We'll get a 1-1 vampire out of it, right? No, we draw a card. We lose life and draw a card, which is great. We're cool with that. Let us see. Okay. Man, interesting. She's an interesting card. When it can go to combat. Well, let's see if I made a mistake here. Let's see if they have a protection spell. They do. Alrighty. I stand corrected. Silly me. You won. This time. Guess I should have been a little greedier. All right. Land. Swim with everybody. Just play the Betrayer. Pass the turn. Still get to keep two things to sack to Mondrak. I think we got this. Despite my misplay there. Okay. Still not used to uh, her ability only being e creatures you control. That's what's throwing me off. All right. Let's attack here. They have to discard. If we attacked here, we couldn't kill them, right? No. See how they block. They have to block here. We'll just sack two things and then make a token or a draw card. Sounds good. Pay the three. Discard. Sack, sack. Get those two things dead. They go down to four. And then we wedding announcement to draw another card. Let's see what their last card is. Okay. I think we're still pretty firmly in the driver's seat here. Remember, we can always pop the Sunfall whenever we want to. Not that we need to here. All right, or we could just kill them. So let's just do that. Then they break it, make them indestructible. Let's fire this off. Attack again. Yep, never need the sunfall. Still confused as to why they're running this one. But we got there. Looks like a winner to me. Let's run it. And mono red. So if we could weather the storm here, I'm feeling pretty good about our chances, right? Two, three, four. And I'm not really sure how Mono Red gets past that. Sunfall is nice. Let's go ahead and get rid of the automatic big creature. Um, me just go for the throat, I think. 
Unfortunately, we were, we had to play that, so we can't leave. Okay, chick is fine. And then they do the enchantment. Oh, they don't. Well, now... I'm wondering if we chump block or not, right? Did they have a pause? I don't think they did. We probably should just kill that instead of making the wedding announcement, right? We can exile cards. Um, if we make the wedding announcement, we could block. I'm trying to remember if they had a pause or not before they played that. I don't remember if they did or not. We have the Sunfall. I don't want to rely on the Sunfall. Because we we need two more land drops. So I think I'm going to try to cut our bleeding down. Come on. You know we want to do it. Pick which one. I think the correct answer is to put it on the Swift Spear. Because the infantry gets it automatically. Oh, rude. Okay, so they didn't have a pause on two. They had a burn spell. Okay. Land. Oof. That was a good one. That was pretty big. All right. Let's go ahead and get some life back and not play Mondrak. So we're going to play a 1-1 Spirit. This will block the Phoenix Chick, and then we can exile it with Kaios plus two. I think that's cracked over Mondrak. I mean, it's kind of close, but if we're camping on the Sunfall, we may even just block the Swift Spear. I mean, if they have another burn spell, then Kaya's down, but... I don't know, maybe. I guess Mondrak would have been a two-for-one. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Why is it shiny? Is that the new icon for dash? All right, and they have a pause, so they do have... All right, so Kaya down. So I guess I should have just... Okay. Fair. Hmm. I guess Mondrak does the same thing at this point. So we'll just play Mondrak. I mean, she saved us, what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Yeah. I mean, she saved us eight damage. So we would have been at two. Yeah, I'll take that. All right. Block here because that doesn't die to our Sunfall. They hit us with a burn spell. Oh, first strike, but not trample. Okay, all right. Hmm. This guy can still block and then attack to make us a blocker that gains us life. Sure. Problem with Mondrag, though. If we played Mondrag and live, then we could play Wedding Announcement. So, 26 lands. Feel pretty confident about this. Would like for the Preacher to live, and then we can attack and make a 1-1. One -one that doesn't kill anything, but it starts to gain us some life. I don't like being in single digits against Mono Red. Okay, they don't have anything. That's a good sign. We can make that one up. Uh, of course. Of course. Um, that is frustrating, but I think we have to do it. They take the two, and then we get a 5-5. Five, five. They get to hit us for two. We go down to six. If they double block, then we just play... I wonder if we should have just played Mondrak and attacked. No, because they're going to get two things to trigger Godric. Yep. 
All right. So, play Mondrak or Weaken, Wedding Announcement plus Activate the 5-5, five five, which I think is the correct play. We're at four, though. So, we could definitely get burned. Squee, painful. Very painful. The land there is nice. So, we get to... Make two dudes, or make... So we'll take three, we die. If we play Mondrak, activate this, we block here and here, or here and here, and then we take two, we go to one. And then they have more than enough things to get him back. So we play two of these things, it's the same. Yeah, I guess we don't have a choice. All right, you got it, bud. Do your worst, we're at one. Opponent playing like a champion. I'll give him that. Thermo Alchemist. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, that does not save us. We can attack here to gain some life, but that eats up all of our mana. And they have easy blocks. They can't kill it, though. So is that correct? We go up to five. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We attack and then play two dudes. We draw two cards. That doesn't gain us anything. So... Attack with one because we're on the clock. And then make a bunch of dudes. Okay, I'll take that. All right, here. Here. And then we make an army of dudes. So the question is, do they have a non-creature spell? Then we're dead. They tap, shoot, untap, shoot. Let's see. Okay. That tells me they don't have one there. Did they draw one? All right, let's gain some life. I mean, you either got it or you don't, right? And we got in this game quick, so we're going to attack with all of them. And leave these guys back. So let's see. They haven't done it yet. They would have done it as soon as we activated, so they didn't have it. Or it's a three mana cost a three mana cost spell. Which it is, then it deals three damage and we're dead anyways. So I don't think we had a choice. Okay. Well, maybe we should attack with everybody. Yep. This is close. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, they chose to play the first strike versus trample, but they do have several three damage spells. So they're getting back homeboy, which we could still protect against. And then we don't have lethal. On, oh, I guess we do have lethal. On, oh, this is good. We've got this. Yes. All that extra life, man, that Mondrak and uh, Kaya bought us. It's unfortunate because Kaya eating their graveyard would have been sweet. At best, they have a pump spell. Because if not, they would have just fired it off. So I think we're good. They don't attack with anything? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I wish we had something good to do here. I think I like the idea of leaving this up in case they play the... Nice. Got there. 
Oops. That's a decent curve out. I think we can roll with this one. Let's keep it. Excellent. Pronent. Maybe showing us a slow start. Um, guess we get rid of... I like having our land. Hmm. Guess we get rid of the creature. My reason behind that is they have a higher chance of having kill spells for creatures than they do planeswalkers. And both of these planeswalkers can give us card advantage where we need Mondrak to stay alive. Uh, we can kill that, but we're just going to hold our spot removal. I think keeping our spot removal is probably going to be the correct play for something like Shouldered. Um, getting uh, an announcement going seems like the right play. The, we don't get to hit the Shouldered and then play a Kaya, but okay. That's a pretty decent target. And we drew another Mondrak, which is great. Fortunately, you don't have anything mana efficient. And I really don't want to take a hit from that. Uh, especially when we need the block. So we're going to wait. Um, we're just going to wait till after they attack so they can't map one of these guys. Or not map, but uh, pop the old... Oh yeah, map. I don't know what I was thinking. It was explore token. Uh, if they do play... Okay, we're okay with that. Let's see if they attack with both or not. Again, we'll just ship the Mondrak. Take our licks. Who sacrifices a creature? Alright, that's... I guess a good time here. Prevents us from taking damage we don't need. So they can map and attack and still leave back a good blocker. But the thing is, we could... Oh, this is nice. Uh, Mr. Landrop, unfortunately. But uh, let's see if we can... Uh, let's see if we can get our opponent here. It could be a kill spell. It could be simply the maps. Hard to say. I heard you had some dead things. So we're going to plus. Uh, I like the land, but I'd rather have an untapped land. So I think we're going to pitch both of these. And whatever it attacks player with the most life. So we're going to pitch both of those. And then exile their Archfiend. Uh, you're one or more creatures you control and or creature cards in your graveyard put in the exile. Oh, all right. Interesting. Okay. I stand corrected. So that was my mistake. I thought it had to be any of them. So it does have to be our creatures, which I guess we could have hit. Uh, no. Okay. 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 Once again, not going to be able to take down... Yeah, we're okay with this. Sounds good. We go to one, and then let's see how much they want the card in their hand. Again, we'll pitch Mondrak. They want the card in their hand, and again, we missed a land drop. That is frustrating, my friends. Um, alright. Guess we would have just drawn the land, but, um. Let's exile. Every team attacks player with the most life or tied for the most life. You don't remember when a preacher attacks the player. Um, attacks while you have the most life or tied. Draw a card. We are not. 
So don't think it matters, except we'll... Yeah, let's go with Mondrak this turn. I play by my own rules. And then kill her. And then here we will play our other wedding announcement and get two more guys. Okay, yeah. That, that sounded good to me. Opponent makes a sacrifice. Our Kaya. We still have plenty of stuff going on. I think this works out quite well. It's funny too, because I normally like keeping lands, but like I said, I really felt confident with us running 26 lands. Ah, another Planeswalker. Okay. Happy to help, but I'm taking the credit when we win. All right, easy enough. Sounds good, opponent. Pitch into the Mondrak. Play a Mondrak. Get in there. Let's go here, see how they block. Oh, that's silly. For some reason, I thought they were gonna double block. I'm not sure why I did that. Um, yeah, we could definitely done better than that. We are gonna get to draw a card here though. So, yeah, that was, I'm not sure why I did that. That, that was my bad. I punted there, I'll take the hit. In my head, I was thinking that we were, they were gonna block. Okay, cool. We get to kill it anyways. So that's on me. That's annoying. It was a good draw for them. Good draw. So we definitely have a solid target for destroy evil. Yes, I figured they were going to do that. Sounds about right. Come on. Oh man. Um, let's not give them the card here. I think we just destroy this so they don't get a little bit closer. We can deal with the trespasser. And let's make two more dudes, I guess. No attacks this go around. Now we can trade. And now we're threatening pretty decent lethal here. Takanume. So they get back um, Lily. Lily is going to kill dude. Yeah, we're okay with this. You got it. <laughs> Even a land shy. We managed to beat, what, three Lilies? Nice. Oh man, this hand is slow, but it does mean we get to play all of our Planeswalkers. <laughs> so I'm going to be greedy and keep it. Oh, so greedy. Start off with the Sanctum, just so we don't have to take damage, should we go for the throat. Relying on the old Deepest Betrayal to get us there. Um, Yeah, I think we're okay playing this tap land here. Hides our go for the throat a little bit. So probably going to have to hold off on this until Shielder comes down. Uh, well, there goes. Yep. And the hand all of a sudden turns really, really bad. Man, that's unfortunate. Mm, it's still going to hold off. Still going to hold off. I think we need to keep that for Shieldred or something bigger than Elos, which is like two, maybe three damage a turn. Yep, I guess killing him now is probably the correct play. I like their, I like the way they uh, play though. Sunfall is kind of nice. Let's uh let's bite our time with that. Let's see if now they're willing to play their like really good things, but I think leaving that on the board. Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. There we go. There we go. I think this is a two for one we're happy about. It's a little on the greedy side, right? Because they have four cards in hand, there's a chance they play something else. 
but we'll see how bad I'm punished for it. Interesting. Uh, let's get this going, and we get to hide our ganjo. Whenever a clue you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, create a one white spirit to each other, applying this creative trigger once each turn. And they get the other guy back. Yep, yep, yep. Sounds like good value to me. I like it. They're not going to attack us, right? There's no way. All right, then. Shoot. I'll take it. Maybe she was hoping for the two for one, I guess, maybe. The higher we keep our life total, the more... Um... Oh, that was not the card I thought it was. That's funny. That's actually really funny. Because I thought it was... If we attack, we net two life. And we drop two. I wonder if we should have attacked there. And then we... Well, we would have lost this. No, I think we're good. We'll just deal with another 1-1. One, one. That's funny. I thought that was the discover one. I auto-included. Just clicked it. I was like, sweet. Okay. Super cool. Super cool. Solid value. We'll take our 3 and like it. We're not blocking. All right, let's see if we can get something sweet. Kaya would be great because we could start exiling cards in their graveyard. Instead, we are flooding, which is awkward. Hey, look at that. So let's play this one so we can activate this guy if we need to. We'll go here. And then let's start exiling cards from their graveyard. Um, we can make... Ooh. I kind of like that idea. Get a Ramondrak, make two more dudes. That seems decent. No, 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 no. We're just gonna keep it like this and then exile their Tessa. Yep. This looks good to me. Hold what we got. And now they have to think twice about their attacks and blocks. We can easily block Puppeteer. We don't mind blocking Butcher. We can... Yeah, this looks really good. Oh, are they going to get rid of Arkaya? Rude? That is so rude. Um, I don't think that was right. Interesting. Can we get by with one black? We have removal. We have a planeswalker on five. We're on the draw. Double removal, I think, can get us there. We'll keep this. I have faith. I have faith in our deck. Running 26 lands. The mix is good. And mono red. Now this hand looks less good. Hey, all right, all right. We're looking good again. Looking good again. This thing's a pretty good blocker. Going to be a two for one in most cases. The important question here, okay, so we can one for one that. It does lighten bolt us for borderline free. This will buy us some time as well. Okay, so we're good. Now we just have to make sure we hit our second black. We'll see if they drop a three drop that's worth killing, okay. Okay. And do they have the silly... Okay. All right. Well, that's uh, down to nine already. Turn three. Wow. Man, this deck can go to town. Can't it? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and play Preacher because Preacher can at least uh, block good. 
right? It's the... They can kill something. We'll see if they have the enchantment. So we feel pretty comfortable blocking either Swift Spear or Kumano. Most likely go block the Swift Spear. This has Summoning Sickness, so we get a chance to... We could go double spell, right? Kill one, kill the other. But I don't think I want to do that. Squee is annoying. Squee is annoying. Okay, cool. We got a pass here. That is actually pretty good for us. I almost think that makes it to where we go for the throw and get lost instead of wedding announcement. Vampire does not have flying. So no attacks here. Send it back. And then before they go to combat, we kill Squee. Leave up the get lost. Okay. That hurts. Let's see if they fire off the Mishra's Foundry. We can't afford to kill the Flyer, unfortunately. Alright, cool. So, go for the Throat Squee. They don't have enough to get it back. And then when they attack... Let's see. I think... Whenever you attack with three or more. So they can fire everything off next turn. But we have, we're going to have plenty of blockers. So... I th think that's the play. You can also just blow that up, actually. Blow that up. We just take the one. And then they... Still, can they get Squee back? It's four things, right? Kind of like that idea. Alright. Seems good. Destroy evil. We could play land, leave up destroy evil and wedding announcement. But I think... If we plus, that's not good enough. So play this in minus and maybe they go after Ashiok. Instead of... I actually like that. Let's do this. And then that way, they may avoid hitting us to kill Ashiok, maybe. Let's see if we get lucky here. Opponent being extremely conservative. And they go for us. I mean, I think, considering that we're tapped out, they should fire off, fire up the Mishra's Foundry and then attack everything at us. Um, okay. What am I missing here? Do you have something they could do for free? So they can fuel what's his face next turn. Alright, let's do this before we figure out anything else. Uh that seems like a great draw. Exit look at the top two cards of your library. Exile one of them, put the other one in your hand. So exile this one. And play this one. This will get bigger. We can attack now to make a life linker, but I like the idea of blocking here. Play our land. And okay. So now we have a block for bird. We have a block. I wonder if I should be attacking to gain the life, but I like the idea here. We're at eight now. Right? 
After this, I am willing to turn the corner. So if they fire off the <clears throat> uh, Squee, we block Phoenix here, block Squee here, block Swiss Spear here. We take one in the exchange and gain four. Go up to seven. And I feel from there, we've got it. My opponent did not attack. That is fantastic. So whenever attacks, each opponent discards a card for each opponent can't, you draw a card. Whenever an opponent discards a land card, create a bat. That's the one that makes the bat. Okay. So what is it at the beginning? Where is it? At the beginning of combat. So we have to exile now. I think we will. Sunfall, we don't need now. We have the stronger. So we'll exile Sunfall. Draw the land. Play the land. Let's go to combat. And I think we can exchange gaining four for two damage. Here, I don't want to because we still need a block here. Force the opponent to discard the card in their hand, which was a chick. I get it now. But it's not going to work out the way they want it to. Because we are going to... Oh, I should have done this before we took the damage. <laughs> All right. That's too funny. All right, then I guess we're stuck waiting. That's hilarious. We totally could have activated that for two, and my silly goose like forgot with the game life. Because my goal was to play win wedding announcement plus. All right, we go to combat. They think they're going to reanimate, but they're really not. We kill Squee because we're not worried about the two damage in the air anymore, and they're never going to have three creatures to attack with. Was that their only Squee? Oh, that's freaking awesome. Okay. And again, they don't want to fire off the Mishra's Foundry. That's so interesting. Because they could have gotten the thing back there. Hmm. Okay. 